Today on the Tales of Ryan, we talk about what in the world is happening to my hair, and uh, at some point I overdramatically used the word guzzle. So let's start by saying I love swimming. It's just so cool being able to move my things around and, you know, zipping around all quick and stuff through liquids. And I was always good at floating, so I never really had to worry about drowning or, you know, getting pulled under by sea goblins or any of that stuff people die from all the time nowadays. And uh, as you probably know, I don't like being warm outside or sweating. And as you probably also know, swimming is a great way to cool down. And as you probably also know, hippos can reach a top speed of 19 miles per hour. But that's irrelevant. Several summers ago, our area was experiencing this drought type thing. It was all dry, it was hot, so hot, mega hot, ultra hot. Naturally, I didn't go outside very often. But it being so hot became a big problem because everything was getting so dry and getting crusty. Except our armpits. So everyone was getting all antsy pantsy about when it would get wet and rainy again. I think we all experienced some kind of delusion that when rain fell, the world would be reborn anew or something. Who knows? You don't know. I don't even know sometimes. Side note here. I should note that I'm naturally forgetful and just have a really sketchy memory in general. The perfect traits to have when you're basing your channel around recalling memories about your life. So all these stories are probably not how they actually happened. But uh, you don't know what's real or not. And you're still watching, so I guess we know who actually cares about historical accuracy and uh, who's winning here. Anyways, it took a while, but eventually rain fell, and let me tell ya, it was a downpour. I think it literally rained for like five straight days or something wet and wild like that. But of course, everything being as soaked as a t-shirt at Mardi Gras is also, you know, a big problem. There were hardcore floods, and everything was just super wet. But on the bright side, things weren't dry anymore. Especially my body! Because my neighbors and I decided to take a dip. But we didn't go to a pool or a swimming hole. No. No. Guess where we went swimming. Go ahead. Oh wait. Take your time. Okay, no, you're wrong. You're very wrong. We swam in the street. You see, it rained for so long and so hard that our street was flooded up to about, you know, like, thigh level. A public swimming pool, really. But we knew it was temporary. So we took advantage of it while we still could. We played with water toys and got, you know, soaking wet, obviously. It was super fun, just sloshing about in the rain, not a, not a care in the world. Until my neighbor's mom came out, and boy was she mad. She was yelling at her kids to come, in, come inside and get clean that, you know, that very instant. Apparently they had some event to go to. Who knows, it was their problem. I was busy splishy splashing. And then, and then, and then, and then she ruined it all for me. You see, we were swimming in the street. Do you know what sits on the sides of the street? Those awful paint can drummers, hookers, roadkill, all of the above. But also, sewer drains, which people normally don't pay much attention to. But in that moment, it became extremely clear to me that the water from the sewers was likely like mixing and swirling with this rainwater. And we were swimming in it. I was swimming in it. Except I wasn't just swimming in it, it was in my hair, it was in my crevices, it was in my mouth. It didn't even just go in my mouth, I'm, I'm a carefree person and I'm stupid sometimes. I, I probably swished it around in my mouth and gargled it like it was mouthwash. Dirty, filthy, mucky mouthwash. I probably swallowed it. I promptly ran home and got in the shower as soon as I could. But no soap could clean out the disgust I felt in my heart. I was, and still am, a dirty muckball boy. Let this be a lesson for you all. The next time you decide to play in the street, remember that I am not far. For I absorbed the sewer that day. The sewer took over. I am the sewer. <laughs> You made it to the end of the story. Great! I hope you learned something today. And if not, watch it again. But either way, 
please leave a like and subscribe to hear more about my exceptionally normal life. Now it's time you taught me something. Right about now I have like a gorillion videos that I, uh, I've made and they're all about me. But uh, if you've got any ideas about what else I could do, who knows, uh, anything, really. I've got two open ears, I'm willing to listen and try it out. And as always, remember that your stories are what you make them.